Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I bring you to my empty plot. Just kidding. Today we are going to make my little pool area. If you saw my terraforming my entrance video, you'll see that I have this little pond area that I can fish in and it's got a little waterfall going. And we're just gonna go ahead and match the cliff area with the waterfall over on our pool side to make it look like one nice big relaxing area. Alright, filling in my last little clip here, and I'm just going to go ahead and check to see that they are about even, and they are. So now I'm going to head up this little cliff and fill in the top, and I'm basically just going to fill in the entire cliff as much as I can. Alright, so let's go back down here and just make sure that they are even once again and see how it looks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I think on the pond area it's a little bit wider, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my waterfalls now. I'm not too sure how I want it yet because it's not going to be exactly the same as the other side because as I said, they are a little bit different in dimension and I think that's off center, right? I'm just going to go over here and check. Yeah, I, that's not that's not it. I'm just going to fill that back up and redo it. How do I want this? Do I want it all? filled out? No, I want two little waterfalls on the second tier, so I'm just gonna... So that's even. So excuse me while I try to figure this out. I'm gonna put it on the outer corners. And I think that'll be as even as I can get it. Yep, it's even. So I'm just gonna go up here and... I'm gonna make the very top tier one big giant waterfall that flows into the two smaller ones. Now that I'm standing up here, I can really see all the clouds. Like, I've been getting so many big, with the double C clouds lately. But let's see if I can smooth out this edge. Like I've said before, I try to minimize as many sharp edges as I can. And let's take a look-see. I'm gonna go ahead and also smooth out this little cliff just to match it on the other side. And I might as well do the back. Oops, not what I meant to do. I feel like half of the time I'm terraforming is just making things by accident. Accidentally placing a cliff. Accidentally tearing down a cliff. But these are looking as symmetrical as they can be. So I'm gonna start putting down my little path here for my jacuzzi area. Or what is it called in the game? A whirlpool? I feel like I got lucky with my whirlpool because I got a little purple light for when it turns on. And also for my pool pool, it's also got this purple lighting so it matches. Let's see, place it down. That was totally off. It's kind of annoying how you can't really move anything when you when you have the little constructing pen or shovel, so I'm just holding my ladder instead. 
and that looks kind of off center but I don't think I can really avoid that because there's certain things in the game that just don't center. Alright, so now that I rounded off the corners, I'm gonna place back my whirlpool and see. I have to hold my ladder again. See if it fits right into that slot there, and it does, even though it's off center. And I'm just gonna start placing my chairs for decoration. Alright, so I'm actually going to rearrange these a little bit because I do have some tables that I want to put in between them so that I can place some coconut juice on and make it really feel like a nice pool area at a resort. Okay, so let's look at what we have. We're still a little bit off center, but that's okay. I'm just gonna start placing down my path to put my pool area. So I'm just gonna fill this in and also add some lounge chairs. Alright, so now that we have that, I'm just going to put in my log garden lounge chair that I customized. And I did make the little flower to try and match the coconut juice. And I'm just gonna pull it up here. I gotta make some room for the pool. Move this one. Alright, so now we're gonna place our pool. Not a log stool, but pool. Alright, and I'm just gonna move it around a bit and make it easier for the guests to access the ladder. And I'm actually going to pull it up from this side, it just seems easier. Still with my ladder in my hands. Who walks around with a ladder in their hands? Like a whole ladder. But anyway, it's looking extra off-center now that we put that in there, I think. So I think I'm just gonna move this and see if I can kind of fix it. But if, I don't know if I can move the chair down here. Doesn't look like it. Oh, I actually can, so I'm just going to go ahead and move everything now. And hopefully that'll help. If I put in this, would it look weird? No, actually it looks a lot more centered now, even though it's not a circle. But now it looks much more centered, and I'd rather have that. Alright, so... I'm glad we were able to fix that. Let me just move these in a little bit to match the other side and that is looking good. Okay, I'm just gonna put in a little walkway between the two pools because we don't want our guests to be walking into the grass and then into the pools because that would be kinda gross. All right, so let's see here, we've got a good foundation for our VIP pool area and I think we can add some more detail with some more furniture. I'm gonna put in some long stools to act as a table for some more coconut juice and it matches nicely with the lounge chair so I'm happy about that and put one on this side as well. Alright, and now it adds a nice pop of color, the coconut juice and the flower. And I'm just going to go ahead and... Hold on, let me adjust this really quick. Alright, so I think I have a little music player somewhere. 
life ring. Oh, I can put this here because you know you gotta have a life ring by the pool safety first. And I have a tape deck to put down because as I've mentioned before, I like having music all around my island. I just keep the same song playing and it's all synchronized so it sounds pretty nice. And I'm also going to add a little bamboo speaker. So it's like a little pool party area. And I think it looks nice. It adds a little bit more detailing. And I'm gonna add one on this side. All right, now it looks like a party here. All right, now I've got some tiki torches to add. And I think I'm just gonna start by placing them here. And same thing over here. And how does that look? It looks okay, but I feel like it makes the place seem a little narrow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and push them further a bit and see if that makes any difference. Yeah, I think that opens it up a little bit. I'm gonna move it some more. To really open it up. Open concept. All right, yeah. I think I like those there. And you can still access the lounges, so that's good. And I'm gonna go back up on my cliffs and add some color here as well with these nice colorful flowers and maybe a yellow back here to contrast the bright pink well you can't really see it but I'm gonna go up here and add my little wind flower I really like the red wind flowers I feel like it looks very tropical oh I guess I can't put one there and I'm stuck again help I'm just gonna go down here and place it. Spread out the colors. And you know you can get weeds back here, which kinda sucks. But that's all right. So that's all I'm gonna put for now because when it starts raining, they're gonna replicate and it'll be all over the cliff anyway. So this is looking super cute. So let me just take off my helmet. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And this is like a VIP pool party area, you know? Like, let me check your wristband, ma'am. I need to make sure you're on the list, please. Alright, so I'm just making sure that it looks symmetrical, and it does. And I'm gonna turn this on, I forgot to. And I think that just about does it for our little pool area. Alright, well thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video of me designing our pool area. If you did, make sure you also check out my other videos and I have new videos every Wednesdays and Fridays. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.